So, I'm pretty sure that uh, some of you are gonna be shocked by the name of this video. Some of you, I'm fully aware, are gonna be extremely disappointed. And others, I'm also fairly aware that might be kinda glad. Last night, so at a time that you can see this video two nights ago, the author, the uh, Buzzin Ben and I, had a brief uh, text-based conversation on Discord. Apparently these can be broken by hammers? I guess that would make sense because they do share like all their physics with the uh, fireballs. Uh, had a conversation where we kind of discussed very briefly, you know, how this was going. And it was ultimately decided that, and uh, by, by, by request of the author, I won't go into the exact detail of what it is that convinced me, but it has been decided that it was probably best for everyone involved to put uh, what, this playthrough, wow, great, great going, this playthrough at a rest. And fundamentally, I agreed. Uh, which really is just all kinds of tragic. Like, I could tell from the start that the author had put a lot of heart in this game. Like, really put himself in it. And, uh, it was a very personal project. And I respect the fact that, you know, to have such a personal project get the kind of reception it got, like, that, there's no way around it, it, it hurts, like, it, it, it will affect you, and really it's just, it just kind of adds to the whole tragedy, which was the Super Mario Doomsday experience. Um, I don't regret playing it, I don't regret giving it a try, I know for a fact, thanks to my playthrough, there are some people, you know, who went and downloaded this game and gave it an honest shot. And, to be perfectly honest, like, beat the game and super appreciated what it offered and had a good time. That, to me, means that my little LP series uh, was successful and was worthwhile. Of course, that doesn't mirror my own... Wow. So apparently if you duck, it works? That's just magical. That's just ma- oh, that's- All along, I was stuck, I just had to duck. Like, <laughs> that's- Ah! Also, apparently, if you bounce off of walls like that, you preserve your momentum better. It's- <laughs> Yeah, so... That's a thing. Um... So, okay, so last night, I was in the Jump Discord server, and Marcel Marceau said something. Like, I don't remember the exact quote, because I didn't think I need to remember the exact quote. Uh, but, uh... But I'm gonna paraphrase, because I think it's important. And he was talking about how, you know, sometimes you get ROM hacks that are super developed, right? He got this really crazy, detailed, complex ASM, and you've got, like, complete graphic overhaul, new characters with new abilities. And you get some people that then like really, that take this and they're like, well, guy, if you're gonna put that much like effort into completely changing the game, why don't you just make your own game and then like sell it or something? And Marcel Marceau pointed out that unfortunately, Doomsday here is a very salient example of why. That wouldn't necessarily work. Uh, crafting your whole entire engine from nothing is obscenely difficult. Maybe obscene is an exaggeration here, but it is incredibly difficult. It is not a task, you know, that you should consider taking uh, lightly. Taking something that already works all right and that is complete and grafting more to it is significantly easier Like the amount of work that requires is so little uh, I think it's hard. I think it's easy to kind of forget that But Buzz and Ben here, you know, he tried to do it. 
he decided, all right, I'm gonna try and craft my engine from the start, and... Like, again, like, it's unfortunate, but... This is why most people don't. Um... And it's really unfortunate, as I was saying, because there is a lot of potential in this game. There's a lot of good ideas, and there's a lot of, uh, like, neat mechanics, and I'm sure that things would get even more developed as we went further in the game. But I think this is just kind of a problem when you, you're forced to just, like, program everything as well as working on level design. Like, you have to camp compromise a little bit when you're a one pro- oh man, advanced math! <laughs> you just have to compromise, right? And I don't know, it's just- I think this is just- Like, okay. Like, when- when I started, like, the author was really excited that I was going to be playing his game. Uh, you know, he- we worked with me to try and get it to work. And when we couldn't, we got some outside work, and we got to work. And you know, I, this game got kind of pushed around in the order, and I could tell he was disappointed. But eventually, we did start. And... Very quickly, I could tell that the LP wasn't going the way he was hoping it would. And... You no, know, that did affect me. Like, I could I could tell, even through text, like, you can tell. Like, text brings an, uh, anonymousness, that's true, but, like, you can read a person through text. And I just, I just thought it was just real unfortunate, I don't know. I, 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 ugh, I'm gonna, wow. Deep down, like, even if I can't really go to the exact reason why he wanted me to stop, um, I think that exploring the context around everything here, it's pretty easy to guess why. And, like, I never want to make a person literally feel bad because of one of my videos, right? And so, like, in the past I've had people request me to not LP a thing or not LP completely. Like, that's the thing. If you're telling me to LP everything except the end or something, I will resist that. LP everything, remove your level from this pack thing, no, that I'm going to resist. But the entire series, to just kinda, you know, stop it, I, I'm, I'm going to respect that. Um, and yeah, like, I don't, I don't really have much to say more about it, like, I think I kinda went over everything, but yeah, it's just... It's a very tragic situation. Like, making games is very hard. Uh, I'm you like you know if if you can avoid having to program your entire game and concentrate on just making the levels and whatnot, like that is a huge understated advantage. Like on the other hand, I understand the wanting to make your own everything, but is this? Your workload gets multiplied so much, and it's something you know to you know take in mind. And I I feel like I'm rambling at this point. I just I'm just I feel like I'm repeating myself. But I just I just want to reinstate that I see the potential. It's just that the craftsmanship isn't quite there yet. You know. But it doesn't uh, help that, like, the engine that was used to make this game is, like, legendarily known for being extremely buggy. Like, even without, within the Game Maker community. Which, uh, just kind of tell you something. Also, I believe that the author of that engine, like, at some point just up and quit and said, Yeah, I'm not working on this anymore, ciao. And it's like, alright. Like, that didn't help, I'm sure. <laughs> This is what we're doing, and this is what it is. I guess I'm just gonna complete this level. Like, and again, like, it's just that on off switch there to me is like emblematic. Oh wow, this thing stays off. Well, that's nice. Uh, that's actually really nice, but still, like, see, that's what I'm saying. There's a lot of really nice touches like that. There is some amount of 
you know, just trying to make a good thing for people, but other parts are just broken to the point where, whoa, well, that's what I decided to do. Wow, two math? I don't know, that's kindergarten level. I'm not interested. Ah, I just, I'm gonna keep repeating versions of this is just a tragic thing, because that's just what it is. Like, I just doubt it's gonna happen. So, by the way, I saw in a video that the secret exit is here. I'm glad I saw it in a video, because <laughs> someone put a video to show what's supposed to happen with the switch. And the video had a person go down here to find out there's a... There's a pipe down here. Uh, if you're in the market for pipes, then you go in this pipe here. It's green. And then you're in the time zone warp channel. Watch out. Oh, I... Th what? Uh, flying around at the speed of bacon. Oh wow, look at that. It's like an exclamation point like on the sign. Yeah! <laughs> One of the main things that people who are disappointed in the series ending have told me is because they really enjoyed the fact that this was a fan game. Because that means that you could expect just about anything. Of course, nowadays... Wow. Have fun up there, Charlie. <laughs> like, of course, one of the adv like uh, nowadays with like, what? Well, where's the keys in here? I think that brought me back. And then I touched that like an idiot, so I can't get the secret exit. Wow, well, I missed a key somewhere. Whoops! Like, it's true that with a fan game you can't expect anything, but nowadays I feel like this is less true. Like nowadays, with how advanced Lua is and Smebex. And with how nutso what people do with uh, with ASM and SMU, at this point, like they're more developer engine with a very very solid framework for platforming, more than anything. And I believe that the distinction of a fan game and the rest is becoming absolute. Also, you can just hold a button in the quicksand and it'll come out. That feels real weird. So I'm saying a whole bunch of things without really any true aim. Man, yeah, I have no idea where that key is. Uh, I know where the key hole is. Maybe it was in the sand pit. You had to go in the sand pit. Well, look, uh, if I am to ever retouch this game again, I'll have to consider that. But, as per author request, one final save. The music stopped, that's kind of funny. Maybe one day I'll return, maybe someday we'll cool off and we can take a look, but that's not going to be now. Uh, this is it, like, this was Rao Cow play uh, Super Mario Doomsday, and uh, join me next time when we play a whole lot of Smoo hacks. Oh, by the way, uh, since it's the last time, let me, okay, let me see if I can find a way to grip this tiny recording border. Come on, can I do it from here? Uh, my recording window is so small, there we go. Like, let's take a look at this amazing desktop that people have made me. Like, a lot of these references are not gonna make a whole lot of sense without proper context, but hey, that's the fun of it, isn't it? <laughs> Anger mold. Oh, uh, demo, always cute. And I mean, that was pretty swell, like, having this to look forward to every day. When I was recording, but mess with a note, you get a dupe. <laughs> this one is so sad, and there's no way you would know that. Super Mario Doomsday. I feel that a lot of people can learn from this interrupted playthrough.